Get me closer to the road. Over those buildings, we'll cut them off. Now, double air seven. The stolen device is in that truck. If we hurry, we can still catch it. By the way, who are you? The name's Bond. James Bond. Smoke screen online. 007, I've equipped your Aston Martin V12 Vanquish with several armaments which should aid to the successful completion of your mission. The bomb is on board that truck! Look out! Up ahead! Q Wedge online. Must intercept the truck before it reaches its target.
Bridge is your best chance, 007. Use your turbo booster. Turbo boost online. Missiles will detonate the bomb, 007. Use the EMP projectiles. EMP online. Happy New Year, Zams. Happy New Year indeed, Dominique. Don't love me quietly. Do it with intensity. Welcome everyone to another series of Games Lost to the Ages. I'm Blitz, your host from Man the Scene. As always, it's good to have you with us. And this time around, we're playing 007 Nightfire on the GameCube. And I am really excited to have made a vi video series of this. Um, I have to confess one thing real quick, and that is that when I was recording these videos, um, for some reason, something went really weird with my voice recorder for the first, like, five episodes. So, this is a narration done afterward instead of, like, at the time of playing it. Uh, I didn't want to go back through and redo it, because this... It's been kind of crazy trying to get these videos compiled and ready to go. Anyway, I'm digressing. So, Nightfire on the GameCube. Uh, one of the first shooter games... I think the first shooter game I ever owned. Um, I don't know if it's the first one I ever played. I might have played, like, GoldenEye, which, sadly, I don't have GoldenEye. Otherwise, I would definitely play it. Um, but I might have played GoldenEye. I know I played Perfect Dark uh, with friends way back in the day. I didn't have either one of those. Um, but, so, when this game came out and I had my GameCube, I was like, oh, yeah, I gotta try this out. Rented it from a video store. Yeah, back in the day when... you he would rent games from video stores, I know. Um, fell in love with the game, got it for like a Christmas or something, and it's just an all-time classic for me. Uh, you got Pierce Brosnan as James Bond. They actually like did a really good job um, given the technology of the day, kind of capturing his likeness. I mean, yeah, like these days you'd be like, oh, well, pff, I've seen better, but yeah. This game's like almost 15 years old. At least in development it was 15 years old. I think it was released in November 2002. Anyway, it's a classic. Um, it's an old style shooter. It's not like those new games now where, you know, you're fighting enemies, you're aiming down the sights, ducking behind cover, you get hit a little bit, hide, wait for your health to regenerate. Come no, this game's old school. No health regen. Um, you gotta do a lot of side-to-side -side strafing to avoid getting hit. Um, all that good classic stuff from first-person shooters. And this game's multiplayer is great, too. It's a great party game. It's great beating up on the bots when you're bored. It's just an all-around really good game. Um, which is why I wanted to play this so badly. Um, when I first envisioned doing the Games Lost to the Ages series, this was the game that I actually was thinking about piloting it. Um, but that didn't, it didn't happen that way. I decided to pilot with Battle Tanks, which I have no regrets. 
by the way. Um, but overall, I'm going to have a lot of fun um, narrating the first couple episodes because, again, unfortunately, you're not going to get the live voice recording of me, but it is what it is. Anyway, um, let's, uh, let's get this series started. Um, so I'll see you in the next episode. Uh, thanks for listening, and take care now.